everyone, and welcome to Wave 7's Quick Set, our 2.5 minute tutorial on Wave Rider features and settings. I'm David McKay, and I'll be your host. Today, we're going to cover how to set up a fixed IP for your remote access remote network. First thing we're going to do is open up Wave Rider, and this tutorial will cover using the Wave Rider client. There are other ways to do this with using the native client, whether it's Windows, Mac, or other. We'll open up Wave Rider. What we're going to be concerned with today is adding a new VPN client adapter. So the first thing we're going to do is go to Virtual Adapter, New Virtual Network Adapter. We can go from 1 to 32. They need to be named VPN 1 through 32. We're going to pick 2 as, as a default. Hit OK. It's now doing the install. Okay, we have our new adapter. Now the adapters are where we're going to set specific IP information. So this one, I'm going to right click on and say open Windows Network Connections. It opened up off screen, so I'll move it here. Here's VPN Client 2. I'm going to edit properties, move to protocol version 4, hit properties again, and enter the appropriate remote IP address. We'll simulate 10.10.25 put in our subnet mask and our gateway. The DNS server is most often the gateway, so we'll use that in this case. And I'll add a Google DNS server just in case. Now I've got my fixed IP address settings for the remote network set up. Now I need to apply this to a particular VPN connection. So in this case, I'm going to go connect, new VPN connection, I'm going to call it test, pick our Wave Rider server, where all of your connections are hosted. Enter our router slash Wave Rider number, the user ID, password, Pick our client adapter for the fixed IP, and we are ready to go. And that is all you need to do. This is ready to go now. 